let's come back to our modeling process to insert some other external object. Here in front of my building, I want to insert a very large yard, and so select the object from the menu and start to insert our vertex node. As seen before from the properties panel, we can change the material layer composition, but also the thickness. Now following the surface morphology of the terrain, I will insert a landscaping wall starting from here. And then, beside my yard, I continue to insert this landscaping wall, which in this case will represent the confined perimeter of my building. So I will start from here, and then in front of my ramp and landing, I will insert a couple of nodes in order to create a defined segment. Now let's adjust the elevation of this wall directly from the 3D view. And from the properties panel, I will also change the height of the entire wall. Now we'll select the two segments I made before, and from the properties panel, I will make each single segment invisible. Then, using this automatic function, I will insert a railing on my wall. Now we can do the same operation for all the external wall on my building site. So, for example, here I will insert again a landscaping wall. I will adjust the elevation by using the green cone. And I will also adapt the upper side of this wall to the terrain surface. Of course, here I will need to convert this segment into an arc. Let's insert also this railing here by using a multiple selection of all my walls. Now we have defined the areas in which we can insert some vegetation. So select the vegetation function from the menu. And from the properties panel, I will define how many different typology of tree or brushes I want to insert in my areas. And then from the beam object library, I will select the different species. Also from the properties panel, I can change density, dimension, scattering, and so on. And now we'll start covering this area. Now on the side of the building site, instead of using the area function for the vegetation, I want to use the line function. And so I will choose the vegetation, but this time from the online beam object library. And so for example, I will download this tree. And now I just need to trace this polyline here. And now I want to insert some bushes on the backyard. Now let's insert some other tree here on this escarpment.
Under the tree line, I want to insert a road. Then with this function, I can change the width. And I want to also insert a sidewalk on the right side. Beside my backyard, I will insert another yard. And connected with this yard, I will insert a swimming pool. Let's adjust the angle value so we can have a rectangular shape. Now from the properties panel, I can change the elevation of this wall and eventually insert a wall cap. Over this earthwork, I want to insert an area with different properties. So for example, now I can change the material of the surface. And from the beam object library I will select this texture. 